It is 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, November 9th, 2024. And uh, I wanna try something new. I wanna try something new on this channel when it comes down to content relationship. <laughs> I do a lot of reaction videos and stuff like that. I do um, live streaming, I do vlogs like this one and uh, I do a workout kind of vlog as well that's kind of it that's kind of it but I want to try something new as you can see from the title I'm gonna be going from 7 a.m. all the way till I get to where I need to now edit this video the only problem is my microphones I have these are the microphones that I have I have uh, the road I have the road mics which are super good I love them I love them and uh, I don't know I think the only time that I'm gonna be using them is when there's any noise too much noise and stuff like that so I need to strategize is what I'm trying to do here I'm trying trying to strategize because I don't want to be turning them off and on right I don't want to be turning them off and on it's it's not um productive so I think this is gonna be perfect I'll be uh, right now I've been here since 5 5 a.m. it's Saturday morning and uh, I ran a 5 15 a.m. class and now I was doing some some work right here and now I'll, I'm gonna be driving around 30 minutes away from where I live onto my next outdoor boot camp session so I gotta go run an outdoor boot camp at 8 a.m. to 8.45 a.m. Come back, I should be back by 9.30ish. And at 9.30 to 10, I'm gonna be running three miles. I've been running three miles on my days off. I work out all the other days. So I work out Tuesday, Thursday, and yesterday, right? Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, let me, let me check. Yeah, so I work out Monday, I mean uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. I got to remember that. And the, then the other three days, I run three miles. So that's my schedule. So today, I'm going to just run three miles. Tomorrow, I'll be working out. My workouts are pretty intense. If you want to check out my workouts, I do live workouts on my live tab right there go go there and i have like a live workouts like like an hour long live workouts i still run four miles three to four miles afterwards or before but check them out all right so we're all set we're packed up and we're ready to go and the the thing with these vlogs right here the good thing i'm a business owner so i can I can kind of do whatever I want, basically. So, should I leave that on? So, I can kind of take you guys out. So, as you can see from the title, 7 to 11. 7 to 11. Ooh. 7 to 11 on this vlog. And I'm going to take you guys around. Just kind of go through my day. Like I said, we've been here since. I should have started it. Actually, I could have actually started it even earlier because i remember i did the 515 class and i'm gonna go do an 8 a.m class actually do a little bit of personal training afterwards one of my clients he's under the weather so i won't be doing that uh, but we will go on a three mile run and let's get out of here because it's getting late oh it's chilly too it's getting it's getting cold out here what's the temp let me see it is 46 degrees out here right now. So as you can see, we're getting a little, a little bit chilly out here. Oh, mama. Yeah, so like I was saying, I'm gonna be able to do these vlogs more often and talk about certain important things. Here's the thing with my YouTube channel. It's Manny Ramos all or nothing. You gotta go all out when it comes down to fitness. I'm a I'm a fitness instructor. I have to talk about fitness. 
and fitness is getting crazy right now with the whole trt trt thing like steroids and peds oh man it's becoming an epidemic it is insane i was doing a little bit of research earlier and man everybody's starting to do it i'm gonna tell you why it's gonna be a hard battle to fight i, I i'm against using anything i i don't use anything i've never have i never will i must do this stuff naturally you know try to stay in shape stay strong or get stronger all my life naturally naturally so we'll see what happens yeah so what i was saying is the whole trt thing and i think that's gonna be the main reason why i need to continue with these vlogs is just to talk from the heart talk unbiased right unbiased medicine medicine is good medicine is good but a lot of times we don't need it we don't need to be self-medicated we can do a lot of this stuff a lot of these things that we need to do we can do it naturally but the only problem with all this is that it's hard work and sacrifice hard work and sacrifice it's like the other day i did a a workout live stream oh by the way my workouts are live okay my my full body one hour long workouts are live so check them out on my live tab the title of it was be men by sacrificing be men by sacrificing you're gonna have to sacrifice man you're gonna have to sacrifice carbs a lot of carbs <laughs> alcohol leisure time being uh, sedentary right being sedentary because man you can if you have if you know a good show like let's say some kind of netflix special that comes on and it's a series and you have like a hundred episodes you can binge watch that stuff so what happens is that's your leisure time so you'll be you'll be there wasting a lot of time that you could have been productive you can be productive in your craft or on your body fitness wise You can be working out. Working out is is being productive. Working out can cost the body to get stronger, get better, get faster, get healthier. Abstaining from too much bad food and alcohol can get you some pretty awesome results. So I drink alcohol myself. But I, at the on the others on the other hand, I know how destructive alcohol can be. Emotionally or physically. Because physically, if if you wanna have good results, if you wanna have a good level of testosterone energy strength muscle you're gonna have to abstain from these things you know i i was in the marine corps i know about drinking we we drank the night before we went on a 10 mile run or a big old big old hike workout we were drinking all night why supposedly because we're marines and that's what marines do but that's not good it's unhealthy yeah we were young and that's why we were able to get away with it basically right we were able to get away with it because the next day hey i was up at 4 a.m 
I was up at zero four dark, ready to go on a run. Although we drank like 30 beers the night before, stayed up till three in the morning. But we could have been better. If we didn't have that and we trained the, one, the way we trained with a good, healthy diet and abstain from too much alcohol, we would have been stronger, better, faster. We would have been more productive. We, be, we would have been more motivated. We would have done more, so on and so on. The only reason we wouldn't see it affecting us too much because we're young. When you're young, like I said, you can get away with a faster, uh, uh, an, an all-nighter, basically, with drinking. Because you're young, your body recovers fast. As we get older, you don't recover as fast. But that doesn't mean you do it because you recover fast. The, the if, you're, if, if you recovered fast from something like that, that means your body mechanisms, your recovery system, your anabolic system was on overdrive. You were overworking the body just to sustain a lifestyle like that. And the reason the body was able to do it, like I said, because you're young. But, but at the end of the day, you're still destroying the body. That's why so many people look 10 times older when they drink too much. Although they're young. Like I met some 20 something, late 20 something year olds looking like mid 40s, late 50s. So don't think just because you don't see it and you're able to recover from it quickly, it's not affecting you, it is. You're putting your body into overdrive. All right, so it is. 7.48 7.48 and uh, we start at 8 over here at this beautiful park for our outdoor boot camp session so I like to get here a little bit earlier I'm going to go ahead and put up some, uh, some videos uh, a lot of people tend to ask for information on my boot camp Manny's fitness program and stuff like that so I'll go ahead and make some informative videos here and then we'll get the boot camp started at 8 a.m so yeah so 7 to 11 right 7 to 11 we're gonna be covering certain topics whatever we got going on i actually have a lot going on i'm at, i'm going to start a a running men's club men's running club something like that men's running club my wife she runs a lot as well so She'll be making a women's running club where we're gonna get people from the community coming together and going for a run depending on your fitness level. You'll be running a certain amount of miles and we'll be teaching you how to run properly, so on and so on. So I think that's gonna be highly necessary for the community to, to gain the benefits that running does. Running gives you tremendous benefits. One of them is cardiovascular conditioning strengthening but uh, other than that even more more than that we'll be covering that maybe on this video all right it's 7 to 11. all right so there you have it done deal it is 8 51 and we've been we've been rolling from 7 a.m we will we already been vlogging for two hours i can't even speak no more hey that's a lot of commands we did here's here's what we did i you know and i actually should have recorded it that way i get some b-roll but we did forward jump squat jump squat backward run lunges split jump squat backward run we did elbow plank scissors push up sit up and then we went into part two part two is left side right side high knee on the bench 
and everybody has their own fitness level repetition so it's left side right side high knee we had tricep dips we have incline push-up we have side shuffle we have power jumping jack uh, side shuffle again and then we have forward run a jog to a certain uh, turnaround point for each fitness level and then we have decline bear crawl which is going to work the shoulders and then diamond push-up which is going to work the outer portion of the chest and then we're going to have and then last but not least we have crab walk uphill crab walk it was amazing all right 9 16 so we have change of plans everyone we have change of plans we have to now go to one of my last well one of my son's last soccer game he's uh seven years old he has been in soccer for the past month so today is his last soccer game it starts at 9 30 so it's 9 17 i i'm just going and freshen up real quick we're back home and uh head down over there and check out the game then we still need to run our three miles all right we haven't forgotten we still gotta put in our three miles let's keep this vlog going let's go all right so we made it to the soccer game what up my fam hey what up i've been vlogging since 7 a.m seriously hello hello my wife <laughs> you don't want to be on the vlog no you know mom you know how mom is <laughs> Rio's over there practicing with Rio right oh. the coach's name. no Yeah, so like I was saying, I've been vlogging since I was telling who did I tell you? Yeah, you're telling yeah, me. Rigo. Yes. I've been vlogging since 7 a.m. What? It is 1046 a.m. right now, so we're almost done. I I said we're gonna vlog from 7 to 11. So we've been doing a lot. And I've been taking these peeps right here. <laughs> I've been taking them with me since 7 a.m. And I actually said that I could uh, actually start it at 5 a.m. because I ran that first 515 class. Sure. Yeah, and then I ran the 8 a.m. So we traveled all the way to Santa Maria and back. Now we watched the game. This was the last soccer game. Mm -hmm. And now, what am I doing? <laughs> I gotta go run the three miles, right? We gotta run three miles. So it's my rest day. And like I said, I've been I've been running three miles on my rest day. And my other days, I tend to put it put a little bit more. But yeah, we've been talking about. Uh, how yeah, well, being natural yeah. is now rare that's what i've been talking about yeah being natural doing anything natural even but. foods are not natural no more <laughs> um you know results are not natural no more and why and, and one thing i mentioned is the reason why it natural is rare rare is because it's hard work physically and also nutrition wise it's hard work to maintain your macronutrients, micronutrients, all that, you know? So every time when it comes down to being hard work, everybody's like, no, thank you. Let me, let me go see if I can find an easier way. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep trying till I find an easier way, but at the end of the day, you will never find an easier way or a healthy way, right? The only healthy way is what? to get in shape yeah i'm i'm, I'm messing you. and you guys in the comment section <laughs> share share with me what the what's the only <laughs> the, what's the natural way to get in shape eating natural foods yeah consistent working out schedule yeah consistent huh yeah it's just, just stay about consistent, just consistent, just mainly staying away from like trt obviously it's, it's mostly just staying consistent huh? Eating healthy and, and but staying away from TRT. Well, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah, that's yeah. unnatural. I feel like those are like the two big ways. Just kind of being watchful. Like, yeah. eat but we always love like sugary carbs, salt. We we love that stuff. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, so that's why it's hard. You know, especially when, if you grow up with, with culture foods, mm. you know, oh, every yeah. culture has its culture foods. Like, let's say we're Hispanic. Yeah. What's, do you have a favorite culture food? Like within, like the Hispanic food? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> See? Back there. Honestly. Tamales? What is yeah. it? Uh, like chicken. And I said the tamales. Yeah, like that. See? You know you like the sugar one. So ones. tamales. Yeah, the, 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 like the tamales. 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 And the thing with tamales, <laughs> or tamales, if you want to pronounce it correctly, <laughs> it's very high in carb. Yeah. <laughs> Super high. Yeah. It's very dense in flour. Oh, for sure. So, yeah. Um, but there's always a time and place for that. Work out right, consistent, don't need too much of that stuff, and you're good. And you are good. <laughs> one thing I was uh, mentioning to one of my new members over in the bootcamp that I just ran is, and you guys as well. So the whole TRT thing. So the reason why so it's becoming an epidemic is because the same people, the same people that are selling TRT are the ones that we're depending on to tell us if it's bad. <laughs> you get it? Yeah. Huh. So that's why you don't hear it. You hardly hear anybody talking about the side effects. The side effects are ho horrible. You know, heart attacks, strokes, blood clots. Um low fertility Dang. and then once you get on it and you get off of it once you if you get off of it you will not go back to normal mm -hmm. you have to stay on it yeah. all, all your life the rest yeah. of your life so think about that think about that like the same people that are trying to get rich of that product are the same ones that were the pick because they're doctors yeah and who do we want to ask the doctor the doctors are the ones selling that product and those are the ones we're depending on to tell it tell us if it's bad of course they're not gonna, they're not gonna say it's bad because they want to get rich so think about that let me know what you think in the comment section <laughs> All right, so as you can see, it's 10.59 a.m. I'm about to take off exactly at 11 a.m. for my three-mile run. Um, and then uh, we're going to end the vlog. Let me go and try this thing out. I should be back at no later than 11.30. That's going to that's gonna do it. Let's see what we can get into.